Hello, good morning everyone. Today class will be for class 10. Class 10 maths and topic will be factorization. So what do you mean by factorization? A brief definition. So factorization, it means that it is the expression of polynomial as the product. That is finding a factor of a given polynomial. So you, we all know that factor means find out which one is which uh, number can be divided by that given polynomial. So what is a cyclic factor? So the definition will be by cyclic factor, we mean that the factor formed by the cy cyclical replacement of a letter involved. So cyclic expression means an algebraic expression which remain unchanged under cyclical replacement of the letter involved is called a cyclic expression. So for example, a square and whole d plus c plus b square whole c plus a plus c square whole a plus b plus 2abc will give a factor of a plus b, b plus c, c plus a. So to find uh, or to factorize a given polynomial, there are certain steps to follow. So let me uh, read out all those steps. One, firstly, we need to write down the terms according to ascending order or descending order. That is ascending order or descending power of the letter involved, involved in the expression. And the second step should be take out the common factors to its coefficient. And the third step, so you need to write down the terms of the other factor according to ascending or descending power of letter again. And the last step, repeat the process till the factorization is completed. So let me show you with one example, one or two examples. Let's say for the first one, factorize a square plus b plus c plus b square c plus a plus c square a plus b plus two a b c. So in this process, the first thing is that you need to arrange it according to ascending or descending power of letter. Now, if you look at it, this one, A is in ascending order, right? Alphabet order, A, B, C. So it is already arranged. From here, what we need to take out is either B plus C, C plus A, or A plus B to make it as common. To do that, we need to split up these two terms. A square B plus C plus, now let's split it up this one. B square C plus B square A plus, next term, C square A plus C square B plus Q A B C. <coughs> So the main point what we, we need to remember is to take out this B plus C as common. So we need to rearrange all these things to get B plus C. So in this case, we need to follow some formula, algebraic formula. So to make out that one, we need this one to arrange it in one times. A square B plus C plus B square A plus C square A plus Q A B C plus check out the remainder B square C plus C square B. 
we are into this one as to take out the formula formula a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square so from this if we take up a as common the remaining the remainder should be a b square plus c square plus 2 bc since we take up a as common if we take up a common here b square is the remainder and if we take up a from here c square is the remainder and from here if we take up a 2 bc is the remainder And from this pair, what is common? Let's see. First time, BC. And second time, CB. So we can take out B and C as common. B, C. Then one of B is taken as common, then one B is still remaining. So B and C is common. No more C. So B and C, one is common then, C. C is the remainder. A square, B plus C. This one we can arrange it as A plus B whole square. That is A square, B plus C plus A. B plus C whole square. We can keep it as this one. Since by applying the formula of algebraic, that is A plus B whole square is equal to A square plus 2AB plus B square. We are applying this one. Instead of this one, we can keep it this one. We can replace it with this one. So instead of this, we are replacing with this. Plus BC, B plus C. Now let's take out common. As we can see B plus C, B plus C, B plus C is common. Let's take out common, B plus C, If we take out B plus C from the first time, A square is the remainder plus if we take out one from here, means this is square. If we take out one, the remainder will be A, B plus C plus if we take out this one common from the third term, then BC is the remainder. From this step, we need to rearrange it and we need to multiply this one up again. B plus C, A squared plus, if we multiply this with A, AB plus AC plus BC. And now what we need to do is to find out common from this pair again. From this pair, let's try to take out common. A is common in both terms, then A, A plus B. And from these two terms, C is common, A plus B. And the last step, let's take out these two common again. B plus C, if we take out this one common, A plus B, and the, remain, the remainder will be A plus C.
Now let's rearrange this one according to alphabet order. A plus B and B plus C and the last one. Since this is both positive, we can arrange it as C plus B. So from here, from this polynomial, the factor are A plus B, B plus C, C plus A. So to know it better, we need two or three more questions, but let me just do one more and give you some assignment. A plus B plus C cube minus A cube, B cube, C cube. This is the formula. By identity, we know that A plus B whole cube is A cube plus B cube plus 3AB and whole A plus B. So since there is a cube, we need to apply this formula. So now let's consider this part, A plus B S A. And C is equal to this C S B. Then let, let's apply this identity. Then this whole cube will be a cube, a cube will be a plus b whole cube plus b cube will be c, c cube plus 3a, a will be a plus b, a plus b and b will be c and a plus b is a instead of a a plus B and instead of B is C. And let's write the remain, remainder. Minus A cube, minus B cube, minus C cube. And if you look at this one, we are still A plus B whole cube. So we need to apply it this again again in this first time let's try to apply the identity formula again so a q plus b q plus 3 a b a plus b and let's write down the remain the remainder plus C Q plus three C A plus B A plus B plus C minus A Q B Q C Q. And the next step. Let's see from this step that what we can cancel. A cube and A cube. One is positive, one is negative. This can be canceled. And B cube, B cube. One is positive, one is negative, and cancel. And C cube too. Then the remainder will be 3AB, A plus B, and... 3C, A plus B, A plus B plus C. So from here, let's try to take up common. 3 is common, A plus B. 3, A plus B. 3, A plus B. And the remainder will be AB plus C, a plus B plus C. And next step, let's multiply this one. Let's take out the bracket. 
a plus b a b plus c a plus c b plus c square now let's pair it up again this and this And let's try to take out common. From here a is common. Let's take out a common e. And the remainder would be plus c plus from this pair, c is common, b plus c. And only from this bracket, let's see again what is common. B plus C and B plus is common. Let's take it out again. 3A plus B and B plus C is common then. The remainder will be A plus C. Now, let's rearrange it. arranging in alphabet order. That is 3A plus B, B plus C. And since these two are both positive, we can take it as C plus A. So the factor of the given number, A plus B plus C whole cube, minus a cube minus b cube minus c cube will be 3 a plus b b plus c c plus a and i hope you understand it this process you need to follow this well and do it for your assignment the first question will be what do you mean by cyclic expression and number two this is the most important one write the step for factorization you need to write all the state and memorize it. And the last one, factorize all these three given questions. These three questions, you do it as your home assignment and submit it on time. Okay, thank you.